Welcome to a tutorial on how to install a processor by Word X8. If you, have a, if you have a stacked wristband thing and you can put that on right now, uh, what you need to do is you need to remove the case. So just find, put it on the side and find where the screws are. And you send Here we have the processor, one of the most important parts of the computer. Now if you look at the processor, there's a little niche in it and just make sure you know where that niche is and you probably want to hold it out like I'm holding it right now and if you look down at your computer there is a little processing thing and you need to open this up it depends on what one you have but as you can see here there's a little niche on the right hand side and you need to make sure that both niches are aligned and you just place it in be very delicate make sure it doesn't like Make sure it goes in correctly. Don't pressure it too much. And make sure it's in there securely. Once it's in there securely, you can close the little flap. And then there's this little lever thing you need to pull to secure it. And then you need to bring it underneath another pin. Once you do that, the process, uh, processor is in there. And there might be a little gel that comes with the processor. If you do that, just spread it on it and then you need to put it on the, on the fan once you do that here's the fan right here the, the fan should come with it uh, if you're installing your own custom fan it'll be similar to this and so just take it and make sure the sticker is aligned so it's facing um, so the sticker is facing like towards a power supply and just put it over the processor. As you can see on all four corners of the processor there are these tiny little holes. Uh, one's right there. There are on all sides of it. Bring it a little closer maybe you can see. One's there. One's there and then one's there. There's a fourth one over there. So just take it and put it over the processor. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to put it over it. Uh, just so uh, right now I loosely put the fan over the uh, processor. It's very loose. There are these little button things on each of the four corners. And what you do is you need to press all of them down until they click. Once you do that, they're, they'll have a little error on them and you'll also need to turn them in that arrow direction. I push this loosely so I could do this for demonstration purposes. Maybe a little annoying to get used to. Just press them down until they click. So right now, I did that. This fourth one's giving me problems. And once you do that, they have a little arrow uh, indicating which direction they should turn. In this case, it is counterclockwise. So just turn them all in that direction. And then you'll, your fan will be installed. Once the fan is completely installed, you need to uh, attach the power supply, the power, and there's a little wire coming off the fan. The processor doesn't need any power um, to connect. So just take that, and next to, it depends on your motherboard, but next to the fan, there should be a little, if you look closely at the thing, it's four prongs, and just look around, you should find um, four little hole things. You should find four prongs somewhere and it should say something like CPU fan. So in my case it is right here. And so just look at the niche, make sure it lines up and put that on. And once you do that you'll get power to your fan. You have to have power to your CPU otherwise it will fry and that's not a really good thing to happen when you have a uh, processor. Considering processors are one of the most expensive parts in your computer. And so once you do that your processor is all set up. There might be additional fans you may need to connect depending on what, what, uh, what motherboard you have and what case you have.